How's it going y'all? Dirty B here and today I'm going to show you how to replace the hoses on your Smith Little Torch. Um, and the reason I think this video is really worthwhile doing is if you go to buy the new hoses, they're f***ing stupid expensive. And when you open them up, they're stupid thin little plastic tubing that's like not even, it's like less than like aquarium f***ing hose. And they want like 60, 80 bucks for fucking things. It is absolutely ridiculous. And so I always knew there had to be a better way. I held on to my original hoses and patched them and did all kinds of shit for years. I probably have them for close to 10 years. They finally just started disintegrating to the point where I was like, I have to figure something out. Um, a friend of mine had used this. This is just fuel line that you could get at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, it comes in 10 foot rolls for like six bucks basically. So I started using this, but the one trick is getting it to clamp onto your, your barbs. It slides over them perfectly, um, finding the right clamps. Uh, the other one I had fixed so many times I'd actually use zip ties uh, to put little glass splints in them and that actually worked. Zip ties did not work with this. That's pretty ghetto to put zip ties on it. But anyways, uh, I got the right shit. Not only did I get the right shit, I also got this. This is a, a braided Kevlar sleeve that will go over both the hoses when I'm done uh, to make it even better. Not only, this is fuel grade line, much nicer than the original line. Um, it'll have braided Kevlar over it and I got the right hose clamps. They're actually pretty easy to get. I just got them off of eBay. I'll put the links in the description. Of course, this is uh, got at Home Depot or Lowe's. Comes in 10 foot rolls. So if you want your hoses longer than five feet, you gotta buy two rolls of it. Um, so let's get into this here. Uh, now I've already put this on and had my issues with it. So, uh, but in that, I'm gonna show you a quick way to get your hosing off. I always just cut it like that. But then if you cut into it like this here, that creates a little notch for the one scissor to sit. You just go over there and it just basically lets it ride along the thing. You can see how it split it open real nice right there. It makes it easy to take off. So if you're struggling with that, that's a really quick, easy trick to uh, make it happen a lot quicker. I'm gonna put these fresh hoses on here and they just slide right over there perfectly like that. Um, I actually use, I get a different size and this is like how you're, if you have a GTT, this is the hose clamps they use. I slide them all the way down these 10 foot hoses, which is kind of silly. I should have put them on pre, pre sliding them over those things. But so there you go. You just basically slide it over your barb like that. And I have... I have quick connects on these, so I was too lazy to take the quick connects or just didn't see the point of taking the quick connects off. So now that's how these hose clamps basically work like this. You take a pair of these uh, side cutters or nipping pliers like that, and you basically go and crimp these two sides. So they're like a one-time use, but of course, these are going to work on a much smaller scale than uh, than like the ones with the, the traditional ones with the turn thing on them. I just, I like them on most of my equipment too, just because it's, it's a little just sleeker, you know, it's not, it doesn't have this big turny screw thing in it. A big piece of metal hanging off it's just a little more streamlined um if you want to get if you want to like get rid of them you need a decent pair of these like these might not even be adequate i ha might have to go up like a size of these to like you know just a pair that's like that big and then it would be strong enough to like essentially cut through them like that you could get in there and go boom but as you can see that's pretty nice right there I think this is much nicer. Like I said, this is going to be an upgrade 
and it's going to be a lot cheaper. Uh, the Kevlar hose was 20 bucks. These were 10 for $6. These are $6 a piece. So, I mean, you add all that up, it's going to be roughly 30 something dollars, which is like half the price. Um, and you end up with extra hose clamps. The Kevlar is going to last you basically forever. So the only part you'd ever have to replace again would be this hose line. All right. So we got these hoses done to this point. Um, I'm going to mark my hose actually, because once they go through this sleeve, it could be, you could lose track of which is which. I'm just going to put a little piece of yellow up here just so that I know that this is the propane line. I believe this is also 10 feet. So just so it works out that these are pretty much the same length. Let's see. Yep. Perfect. So I got this stuff in three quarter inch. So as you can see, that's the three quarter inch they're talking about. Like that's basically three quarter inch right there. But look at this stuff. It gets huge. The eBay page I got it off of uh, had a lot of different size options. Like they had it down to, I believe, even quarter inch and maybe even smaller. Like you could potentially get like one per hose. So you got your hose and your sleeve all good to go. Now, I'm going to tend to the torch. You got this thing, uh, got the hoses off of it there. So now I'm going to actually screw this. I already did this, but I'm just going to show you. This thing, this plastic thing was like down here. And if you do that, these are going to have like very little play. And they're so close together that once you put the hoses in there and have them room from the hose clamps, they need a little bit of flex so i'm just going to slide that thing up to give them just a little bit of flex and then screw this handle back on here yeah i think that's going to give them just the right amount of uh of room there now gotta fix my mistake from last time remember to put these on before I slide them over. I'm going to start with the propane one because it's taped there. If you need, you can use a little sliver or something, but you don't really need it with these. It's actually, um, hose is like just perfect size. Uh, my tape is not allowing my thing to slide. It doesn't really matter too much. It just that's kind of where I want to grab it. But I got it slid up uh, enough regardless. Now I'll do the same thing with this one. That's one downfall of this torch design is getting any sort of hose clamps on these it's like those barbs are just so stupid close together um yeah i'm just barely gonna get these but close e fuck enough is what i say so i'm gonna give this a quick test but I did decide I'm basically just going to use a little bit of electrical tape to go over this part and possibly this too. Um, yeah, I think I will do it over both. Uh, just because I think the stickiness will help hold this all together a little bit better than just some heat shrink. Heat shrink would look a little more polished, but I got some spiffy purple electrical tape. Not hearing any noises. Not seeing any drop in pressure on the tank. Mm. 
got that gas. So this is my crazy ass home-built ghetto manifold here. It's actually pretty nice. I like it. It's a two-stage, and then it's like a manifold too, and it allows me to plug in my hand torch. All right, so I'm going to show you guys another little quick tip while we're on this subject. So I get one of these huge, huge binders, as you can see. I clip my glasses case to it, and I also put this, which rarely has a lighter in it. Uh, but the other important thing, why I'm showing you this in this video that I just made, is that I don't like this hose sitting on the ground. Because especially with the hose that comes with this torch, this might be a little better now, but especially with the one that comes with it, that gets any little bit of like, you know, hot glass heat near it. Um, like not a flame necessarily, but just hot glass, it can pop right through uh, from just melting the plastic. So I really don't like this line sitting on the ground because um, I have popped it before and had leaks from doing that. So as you can see, uh, before where I plugged it into my manifold with all my other um, torch lines I basically run it up with those lines I take this clamper thing that I just showed you and I clamp them all I just clamp it with my lines grab like at least one or two two other lines and I just clamp it to them like that so then it keeps it off the ground then I also have as you can see there, a magnet stand that the thing magnets to. And then it's like I still have plenty of hose line. It's not laying on the ground, though, which is I really like. All right. So I hope that helps some of y'all out with your little Smith Little Torches and the hoses. I know it was a pain in the ass for me. I'm pretty stoked the way it's set up now. Um, so... Yeah, thanks for watching. Dirty B, out.